We are going into a new computer animation lesson and what we're going to do today is animate a graffiti spray can spraying your name across our stage here looking something like this. So um, we're going to need to use a couple things, a simple layer mask to unveil the name and then as well as a motion tween to kind of move this can along a path to make the illusion that it's spraying the letters behind it. And then just adding on a little bit of a movie clip there, you can see a slight spray of color that comes out of the can as it sprays. So what we're going to need to get started is I will go ahead and walk you through how to download a graffiti font to use for this. Um, if you just Google graffiti font download, we'll try one that I've used often is 1001 free fonts. If I scroll down here, I'm going to look for a font that has a filled letter, solid letter, um, as opposed to one that is um, have space in between it, kind of like this one that's white, something that's a solid black. Um, this one works for me. So if I click on download, that will download this file to my computer. Ruthless 2 is what it's called. And so what I'll have to do is go ahead and um, unzip that file just by clicking on it once. And it will show it to me or should show it to you in your finder window. So then you'll see in here you have a couple uh, TTF files. And these are the actual fonts. Um, that you will add to your computer's font book. So if we go right over to Applications, and I go down to Font Book, double-click that, I'm going to add a font using the plus sign. There's a few of them around here. So you're going to add a font. Oh, actually, this adds a collection. Didn't realize that. Um, didn't really want to do that. We'll just go back to on. Uh, so I, this plus sign at the top bar here is what we want. If I go to my downloads folder, um, what I'm looking for is ruthless. So I'm going down to the R's. Oop, went past it. There we go, ruthless. Um, and so there's two fonts here that I can load. One that drips and one that does not have a drip. So um, go ahead and try the drip one just for fun. All right, so that means that this font is added into my font book. Um, I may go ahead and just add the other one as well, just so that I have both in case I don't really like the drip look, because uh, there's a lot of drips, so I might not like it when I really uh, animate it. So here we go, we have both those fonts in our font book, and now we're ready to start this project. So um, we'll go to File and New, Action Script 3, we'll say A OK. We'll take our type tool and click and drag to make a box. All right, so I'm going to type k.b.gipfer as my name, and then I will go ahead and highlight that and then go into my fonts here. And I should see, if I keep scrolling down, Ruthless, Dripping, or Wrecking. So that is what that looks like. I'm going to try out the one without because I think I'd rather just go with it kind of more like this. So um, I'm going to adjust the size of this just a little bit here. Let's see. So I want it to take up a good amount of my stage, but not too, too much of it because I want at the end there be space for the can right down here. So that looks pretty good for right now. I'll go ahead and label this layer while I'm at it. Text. All right, we'll add in a new layer, and this is where we're going to create our spray can. Now, you can do this same type of assignment with uh, any kind of uh, tool, uh, art tool, like a paintbrush or a pencil or a marker or like a fountain pen image. Um, I decided to go with the spray can, and so that's what I kind of wanted to do and have fun with here. So um, I just Googled uh, spray paint can. I found this nice um, stock royalty image of just an outline so I can make it any color I want. So I'm going to right click on it, copy that image, go back to animate, and then I'll go to edit and paste and center on my spray can layer. I'm going to get an image that's really big. So I'm going to click on my transform tool and holding shift, I'm clicking and dragging on the corners holding shift, clicking and dragging on the corners until I get this, I think the right size. That seems pretty close. There we go. That seems good. Um, 
I think if I do zoom in on this a little more, you'll see it has maintained all the details. It's just when we're zoomed out on this bitmap image, you kind of lose um, some of the detail. So anyways, what we're going to do now is use our trace bitmap tool. So we're going to go modify bitmap and trace this bitmap. Um, good uh, numbers to keep this at is 40 and 10. We'll say OK. And that traces that bitmap image and turns it into an image we can edit. So I'm going to go ahead, click in this white space around this image and hit delete. Um, we'll actually um, might kind of just take the can and move it off to the side. I may end up wanting to actually use that in a later project, maybe animate the can actually popping off. But for today, uh, we'll just keep this as is. So if I select this, okay, so there's still some spots outside here. I'm going to go ahead and try and delete all of these by just kind of making a box next to the graphic itself. And if I click and drag around this again, I've got another one down below here that I'm going to delete. Otherwise, it looks like I pretty much just have the can. Um, maybe a little more space down here. That's okay. Should be fine. So now what I'll do is take this can and I'm going to hit F8 on my keyboard and convert this into a movie clip. So this is going to be spray movie clip. Um, and now at this point, I can go in and change the color of it. Um, I can go ahead and if I take a color that I like, oh, so that's actually filling the whole thing, which isn't quite what I wanted. So I'm just going to make sure I click off the side. It's because I had this selected right now. But if I go back to my spray can, let's see what color. I can make it a gradient or I can make it kind of reflect the color that's actually going to come out of the can. So I think I'm going to go with the same type of blue that was in the can. Go ahead and fill. Um, if I zoom in, a couple spots that kind of got missed. I'll go ahead and fill in those as well. I could just take my paintbrush as well and paint right over those little spots. All right, so that works for now. I'm going to go back to my scene, all right, where I have my spray and text layers. And now I'm ready to start the animating part. OK, so what we'll want to do is go ahead and open up this animation. Let's click and drag on about the 50th frame and hit F5 on our keyboard to open up some frames. Um, what we're going to make is actually one more layer above this text that's going to be our mask layer. So add a layer. We'll title it Mask. And on this layer, I'm going to take a different fill color than my text, and I'm going to draw a mask that's going to cover this entire word. Um, on this first frame, though, I just want to start with a rectangle shape. And then on the 50th, I'll go out here, hit F6 on my keyboard to create a new keyframe. And then I will take my transform tool and stretch this so that it, it covers the entire um, name. Let's squeeze it in just a little bit. Don't need to we'll want to make it too much bigger than necessary, really. Let's see. That seems pretty good. Awesome. So now what I'll have to do is a little bit of rotating because I want to make this go at an angle here. Um, and so what I'll do is um, first take the text layer, um, go ahead and turn that at a slight angle. And then I'll go to the mask layer. Again, turn that at a slight angle as well. And then simply click and drag it so it's still next to your name. I might angle it back just a little bit. Now uh, go to this last frame of your rectangle and rotate this so that it still covers your name writing. All right, so I poked a little bit out of the bottom, so I'm just going to scooch it a little bit with the arrow keys on my keyboard. And now I just need to create a shape between in between this um, these two frames. And so that shape between will take that um, box and extend it so that it covers my entire name here. Now I'm noticing a little bit comes out the top part of that. So I'm just going to move this mask up to center two with my keyboard. Again, just missing it just a tiny bit. So I'm just scooching it up with my arrow key on my keyboard, and that looks much better. So that doesn't let any part of that um, unveil. Then I need to convert this mask layer actually into a mask. So I'm just right-clicking on the layer here, going down to mask. And what we should see when I unveil this is 
my name unveiling. Okay, now what we're going to do is add the actual movement of the spray can. Okay, so it looks like maybe for now, I actually, I'm going to take the can lid and uh, save it as a graphic. I'm just going to hit F8 and call it lid. And I'll actually delete this. So it'll be saved in my library for later on if I do decide to do something with it in my project. But for right now, I just want the spray can on this layer. So what we should have on this first frame is the spray can should actually be over here as if it's going to start spraying. I'm going to tilt it on a slight angle. All right. And then what we need to do is create motion on this layer. So I'm going to right click and create a motion tween. Uh, multiple objects are selected. Okay, cancel that. Somehow, I have multiple things selected. So let's see. I need to create a motion tween with just that graphic. I think I had maybe the text selected or something like that. Um, okay. Well, maybe not. I do this thing that just picked up a little bit of that. Um, bit that was kind of left behind. Uh, I'm going to delete this layer because it looks like nothing's on that one. And this one's my can, so I'm just going to call this can. Alright, so now that I have this ready to go, um, basically what I'm going to do is scroll along and once I see, actually I should lock these layers again, that will make the mask actually work. Um, so if you lock these two layers, I'll see my words start to unveil. So right here it looks like I'll click on my frame of this uh, layer here of the can and change its position. So now you see there's a new keyframe there. So if I keep this moving along right here, the can should move to the end of that K. And then by, let's say here, it looks like I can see a little bit of that next letter starting. So I'm going to move my can to follow it. And then as I go across more, it looks like about there, I have my B. Now I can move this maybe up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to undo that. Let's come up a little bit back further here. I'm going to move this up to kind of follow that part of the letter there. And then further down, move it to follow to this spot. Again, scrolling a little bit further. Now my can wants to be over here a little bit further and we'll say the can should be up here a little further and I'll bring it down to create that it looks like I've sprayed that eye and then we're moving across this P here moving across and then over a little bit further and kind of just creating this illusion here that the can is spraying the letters. So it could be that you use any tool, as I said before, to kind of make this happen. And then where the can wants to end up is probably somewhere off the side here. And that looks like that's going to work. So let's take a test run at seeing this. So command enter to test and and that looks pretty believable to me. So the can moves along, the letters seem to kind of follow right behind it. So um, the only other thing we're going to do to kind of wrap this up um, is to add a little bit of that spray effect coming out of the can so that it looks like the can actually is spray painting. So I'm going to double click on this uh, movie clip right here, my spray can. I'm going to zoom in really close right on the top of it. I'm going to take my oval tool and change my color to be the same as the color here for the lettering. I'm going to stretch and pull out a circle here and then take one side of this circle. Actually, this needs to be on its own layer. So I'm going to cut this by hitting Command X, add a new layer. This is going to be paint or ain't. <laughs> and this is going to be the can, right? So lower level is the can, upper level is the paint. I'm going to go ahead and edit and paste in place so it pastes that right back where I took it from. Right um, Now I'm just going to pull on one edge of this so it kind of creates that raindrop sort of look. All right, 
And then um, what we're going to do is to convert this into a movie clip. So I'm going to hit F8. We're going to call this paint, not inked this time, and say OK. Now what we're going to do is use one of our motion presets. So go to motion presets. We're going to go to default presets here. And we want to choose smoke. Choose the smoke option. It's going to make this kind of paint blob poof into a cloud of smoke. Now that goes way long, right? That goes to 75 frames. I want to shorten that down because I want this to appear um, a few times within the animation. So I'm going to just click on the end and drag down with those double arrows. And let's make this about 15 seconds. Okay. Now you'll notice my spray can disappeared. It's because he's only on the first frame. So click right underneath wherever you left off here and hit F5 to open that up so that the can is in your frame the whole time. And so what we'll see is kind of this um, expansion of this kind of blue paint that just kind of like fades off into a puff of smoke. I can try and adjust the points here so this doesn't move so far away um, and make this whole um, path go a little bit smaller is what I want to do. So I'm going to hit um, this point and actually bring this, I think I have to zoom a little bit. I'm going to take this point here and bring it down just a little bit. Oh. Yeah, that works. So again, bringing that down a little bit closer to the can. And then again, on the very top point as well, I'm going to bring this down so that it's, it stays in a much more condensed area. So it won't be really spaced out quite as much. Now, that should just keep playing over 15, every 15 seconds. If I go back out to my scene, um, let's zoom out just a little bit here. All right, and let's go ahead and run this. So you can see the kind of fade there um, that's created by the spray can. So one last thing I might do is just add some frames. So there's a pause at the end of this. I'll do that super quick here. I'm going to click and drag down around 75 or so. Hit F5. So now there's a pause for a few seconds at the end. One last test. And there we go. We have a nice little animation of spray can uh, spraying your name graffiti style across the stage. So feel free to add anything else, you know, multiple words, uh, background images, characters, anything like that into your animation as you wish.